How did this move not win every fucking thing that it could? <laughs> hey, how are you? My name is Max No Sleeves, and last night was the Golden Globes. Boop, boop. And so for some reason, you guys really like it when I do fashion reviews because I'm a bearded, sleeveless dude with, let's face it, a uh, $2 fashion sense. So here you are. Bam, 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 bam. For the record, I'm wearing a red sleeveless t-shirt. Just pretend like you don't know what the logo is. Trust me. Okay, let's check her out. Amber Heard. Amber. Straight out of Aquaman, which uh, I still haven't seen yet, but I heard it's friggin' sweet. Is it the best screensaver of all time? You tell me. Yep, she's got the classic dress, the uh, feather duster look. Pretty cool. What I really like is the no sleeves. I also really like saying Amber. Amba. Amba. Lucy Lou. Whoa. Babe alert. First of all, I love the dress. Like a really fancy shower curtain. More importantly, Lucy Lou. What is she, 150 years old? She looks like she's 20. You know what they say. Asian don't. Huh. Here's the real problem. We got black don't crack. What is the Asian one? Asian don't. Raisin? We'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. Marin Hinkle. Okay, Marin. Looks like she, well, I'm picturing like a Disney movie where the girl runs through a enchanted swamp. Uh, also love the no sleeves. Leah Michelle, first of all, super hot. Second of all, I love the dress. I love that she's reintroducing the Krang look from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rowan Blanchard, cool dress, and also a really good reminder, because I have to get a new loofah. How long do those last for anyway? Because I've had mine since high school. Sarah Highland. Babe. This dress looks awesome. It looks like it's made out of the same material as my grandma's fancy napkins. So. Emily Blunt. Doom! Are we allowed to say if Mary Poppins is hot? No. Love the dress. Looks like uh, a really fancy tablecloth. Or not a tablecloth, that like shawl thing that goes over the tablecloth that you're not allowed to spill wine on. Sorry, Grandma. Lady Gaga. Fire song. Fire movie. Awesome dress. Maybe a little bit too much fabric, but that's how it goes, right? I take my sleeves off. She makes her dress long. It's all an ecosystem. The only way this could be better is if she touched her cheek. <laughs> Perfect. Looks super awesome. The real thing about last night is I went and watched The Star is Born after everybody flipped out on Twitter. Because The Star is Born was nominated for a bunch of stuff and they didn't win shit. Tell me something, girl. She won Best Song, but they should have won everything. Then I went and watched it and it's like the most incredible movie I ever seen. What? Rachel, what's up, bros? Nahan. Looks great. Classic yellow mustard look. Obviously, this dress takes a lot of inspiration from the classic Aunt Jemima bottle. Yeah, it was syrup, right? Or butter? Kate Mara got a lot of flack for this dress. I think it's fine. It looks like she was like sleeping and then decided to lock up her boobs in like a boob safe. You want another combination? No. You share? 69, bingo. Jackets were in this year. I guess jackets are the only thing it can be in if you're a dude. Idris Elba looks sweet. Idris Elba also took a picture with James Bond because a lot of people say he should be James Bond. In reality, he should be Green Lantern. You're welcome. Regina King, straight up babe. It's like a chain mail, chain link, paperclip conundrum. Uh, crushed it. One of my very first crushes of all time, Julia Roberts, wearing like a pant dress. It looks like one of those old windows where you just pull the curtains apart. You know what it really honestly looked like is in the Matrix 3, when Neo's got that jacket and he's kicking around, his jacket's flapping around, but he's gotta be able to kick, but he still has one that's like a mini cape. It's like a cape, uh, but for your butt. Speaking of capes, Billy White Sox Porter, holy smokes, came in with a fire look like a superhero matador. Neon pink cloak from Cloak and Dagger. Literally always been a dream of mine to wear a cape, and this dude pulled it off in spades. Crushed it. Judy Greer, green, Greer? Uh. Wearing a tuxedo. Cool, I respect what you're doing, I appreciate shadowing gender stereotypes, but just so everybody's on the same page, just so we're all clear, no matter who you are, white, black, Asian, yellow, man, woman, whatever. Tuxedos suck. Do you know how many fucking buttons are on a tuxedo? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like 35 buttons. So great job, but you still had to wear a tuxedo. So that sucks. Kristen Bell looks great. Super cool, super hot. Uh, no matter what, every time I hear Kristen Bell, I mix her name up with Christian Bell. And speaking of Christian Bell, shout out to Christian Bell for being British. Absolutely charisma free and reviled by everybody. So he went, that's got to be bail in it. You know, who knew? Timothy Chamelet? Is that like a tactical suit? Is he Mission Impossible? Did he parachute in? Wearing like glittery gun holsters? I'm digging it. Alison Brie, you look great. But I know for sure I'd be like, oh look, there's Alison Brie. Don't look at her boobs. Don't look at her boobs. Don't look at her boobs. 
They're your boobs. Ah, damn it. Uh, and then I'm the asshole? Ah, Come on, you hate to see it. So yeah, this dress is my nightmare. Janelle Monet, friend of the program. It looks like she was about to wear the black and gold dress and then she was like, you know what, it's cold. I need the extra protection. I'm gonna wear the Under Armour. A lot of pitchers do that. Smart, savvy play. Cody Fern, solid look, dude. I get it, man. You're in the gym, you're working on your shoulders, you wanna show them off. All I do is military press. You think I don't wanna show my shoulders off too, big dog? Respect. Dandy Newton, whoa, what a babe. This dress looks sweet. It looks like it's made up of uh, her leftover wrapping paper from Christmas. Multi-use, reuse, recycle, re respect. Jamie Lee Curtis. Looking like a mix of The Matrix and Hunger Games and with a little Mugatu splashed in there. Bam, love to see it. Congratulations to Rami Malek. Love the Queen movie with the guy. Big time congratulations to Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Best animated movie and probably the best movie I've seen in a long time, long time. But I gotta say the big winner of the whole night, the big winner of the night, and let's all say it together, Fiji Water Girl. Who is this, this chick? This, this move is diabolical. Best case scenario, this whole thing works out really well. She should get a sponsorship deal with Aquafina. Those are my favorite looks. What were yours? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. My name is Max No Sleeves, and I'll see you next Tuesday.